Hi, and welcome to Cluzy Clinic. Thank you so much for joining into my frequency today. So it's still Tradies Month. This month has five weeks in it, so Tradies Month is going to go for five weeks. So what did I wanna specifically talk about today in terms of Tradies? It's just developing after work habits that are actually good for your health and not bad. Uh, I know, you know a lot of tradies like to finish the day with a few beers, go to the pub, catch up with their mates. Now, while catching up with your mates is a good thing, the going to the pub, drinking every night is not necessarily a good thing. It makes you tired, your body can't heal from the heavy labor that you've done during the day. So what things can you do instead? I know this is gonna sound a little bit left field, but I would suggest you go to places like the Pilates class, just to make sure that you keep your back nice and healthy. You don't have to do this every night of the week, of course, but you know, once a week, that'd be a good thing to do. Then what I recommend a lot of my clients in the clinic, and I also do myself, is heading down, on the Sunshine Coast, there's a place called TLC Recovery. Um, who are absolutely amazing. They have infrared saunas and the hot and cold plunge pools. They also have some other bits and bobs that you can use to, um, into your recovery sessions, depending on what it is that you're trying to achieve. But just getting into that infrared sauna once a week, doing the really cold pool, like it's 12 degree water and then getting into a 38 degree water and just doing that alternating for half an hour, does amazing things to your body. It will help you uh, prevent injuries and recover better and it's uh, a lot better for you than going to the pub. Uh, also, a lot of tradespeople are also business owners, so of course they have to come home and hit the books, make sure that the business is churning over, make sure they've got new clients coming in and things like that. So you've got to keep your mental space also fresh and happy and healthy. So things like daily meditations are really easy to do, 10 minutes in the morning, um, 10 minutes in the afternoon when you get home. It doesn't have to be anything extraordinary, but just working on your mind as well. Um, if you've had a bad day, things haven't gone your way, then just have a chat to someone. Just pick up the phone, call them on your, on your drive home on a hands-free kit, of course. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, drink lots of water, have a cup of tea when you get home, Catch up, hang out with your family, go for a walk on the beach if you happen to live near one. If not, go to the local park, throw a frisbee. Just do other things um, that are, this is, just doesn't have to be tradespeople. This can, anybody, anybody should be going to the recovery sessions at the um, TLC, in my opinion. Everybody should be meditating, everybody, should, 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 but everybody, I recommend that everybody meditates. I recommend that everybody does Pilates at least, you know, once a week, once a fortnight, just to build that initial core stability. Once that you've got that, then you can just practice it at home or go occasionally. Um, having cups of tea, like the one I'm having now, is a lemon and ginger tea, rather than having... Um, you know, a beer or a wine. Mind you, it's only midday here, so I shouldn't be doing that anyway. <laughs> um, and just, I also recommend regular, so when I was nursing in hospitals, I would see my osteopath every two to four weeks, just to keep my body from um, coming out of alignment and, and forming uh, patterns of compensation, because like being a tradesperson, nursing is very heavy labor and intensive work. So just do, put yourself first, because you can't fill out of an empty cup. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. If you're having to get up at six o'clock, five o'clock to get to work, then go to bed at nine o'clock the night before, because sleep is your best friend for healing um, and for making sure that you're nice and fresh for the next day ahead, because as a tradesperson, you're using a lot of power tools that are quite dangerous. So you don't want to be tired or fatigued or, you know, a little bit shaky and only have you know one coffee in the morning on your way to work drink water or electrolytes during the day um, rather than caffeinating yourself up it's not good for you so anyway there's just a couple of little habits that you can form that are better than just heading straight to the pub or cracking open a beer after work of course on the weekends whatever you can still do all that but just don't make it a daily occurrence because it, that's how injuries will increase for you um, plus your health in the, you know, at the end, 
your body won't be able to handle the physicality of everything if you've put it through um, its paces and you know, haven't nurtured it during its prime. Anyway, thanks so much again for joining. I hope you've learned something. I hope at least you can just take one of these habits away. And if you want, add your comment and let me know what you do um, that you've changed one of your after work habits to better serve yourself and your health. All right, see you next time. Thanks for watching.